Good morning. Happy to be with you again this morning. Um, <laughs> we all know that bad manners are bad things. Uh, but did you know that a recent study uh, by researchers show that bad manners can actually kill? Um, a recent study that was done by a medical research team uh, talking about doctors shows that doctors who spoke rudely to their staff got less performance out of their staff, had less accurate diagnosis, um, and in general, their performance was just much lower than doctors that were, by and large, gentle and kind and, 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 and professional with their staff. Um, so bad behavior, what, what it's showing here is bad behavior can actually, actually be detrimental um, and cause problems in the medical field. If bad manners can have such a negative effect on doctor staffs and on the kind of work that a doctor's staff or that a doctor him or herself is able to perform, then it puts people in jeopardy. And if, if it has that kind of impact in a doctor's staff situation, What's the damage that it can do in your life? What's the damage that it can do in the lives of the people around you? The Bible says so much about the way we're supposed to treat others. But it doesn't just say it because it wants us all to walk around with smiles on our face. This study indicated that rudeness can actually undermine people's ability to think clearly, to make good decisions, uh, to perform at their highest levels. It can actually have a severe negative impact on day-to-day -day lives. I guess that's why the Bible says so much about it. Over in, over in Proverbs chapter 15, verse 1, this is one of the most common verses. It says, a gentle answer turns away wrath, but harsh words stir up anger. It says over in Proverbs 12, 16, Fools show their annoyance at once, but the prudent overlook an insult. Are you somebody that's quick to react to negatively to something that somebody says that maybe wasn't the nicest thing, maybe wasn't the best thing to be said, but are you one that just you get your feelings wounded real quickly and your annoyance starts real quickly? Well, put you in a bad category. Finally, over in Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 9, it says, Do not be quick, excuse me, do not be quickly provoked in your spirit, for anger resides in the lap of fools. Wow, I mean, that's some pretty strong language. And the Bible is full of admonitions about how we're supposed to treat one another, about how we're supposed to react to one another about where, how we're supposed to be kind to one another, and on and on and on it goes. Well, it's not just about being kind. It's not just about putting a smile on your face or on somebody else's face. It's about allowing people to perform their best, to be their best. And when you're rude to somebody else, not only do you hurt their day, or when somebody is rude to you, not only do they hurt your day, but... They make it so you're not able to think as clearly and perform as clearly as you would like to. Something to think about. The next time that police officer pulls you over and you're tempted to be rude to them, or the next time that boss at work approaches you with something you really didn't want to do, but they ask you to do it anyway, and you're really tempted to be rude about it, or just to kind of give them the cold shoulder the rest of the day. Or the next time your spouse says something that maybe wasn't as kind as it should be or didn't, didn't uh, show you, wasn't as attentive to you as maybe he or she should have been, and you kind of wanted to respond with some rude comment, the Bible puts you in the category of a fool when you show rudeness. 
That's not very kind, is it? I don't mean to be rude in telling you that. <laughs> I hope you have a wonderful day today. And Lord willing, I'll see you tomorrow. God bless.